Hello and welcome to my first tutorial in a hopefully a series of a Minecraft tutorials. I'm going to show you how to make a multiplayer survival server and which you can play with your friends on. And uh, first of all, we're going to minecraft.net and download the Minecraft server exe uh, file. You want to save it and you don't want to open it. You want to show it in its, in its folder and you're going to create a new folder called Minecraft server or whatever. And then you're going to drag the Minecraft server exe to the Minecraft server. Now you're going to open it. Just ignore that, that was my computer. And uh, now you will see a bunch of files popping up because they are created by the program. Yeah, and uh, you see here the properties, server properties file. That one, yeah, that, that one is the one we were interested in. And here you uh, can change a bunch of stuff on the server, like the name of the server. You can just name it to whatever. And um, below you have some other interesting stuff. This is a uh, player versus player. If you want it to be enabled, you can press, uh, press true, or just leave it alone, or you can press false. The server IP is the one we're interested in, because this is the one we're going to change. But uh, then now we're going to need a program called Hamashi, which is going to connect to our computers. You wanna, uh, yeah, the description will be, the website will be in the description, and you wanna download it. Uh, I already have installed this one, so I won't do it again, but you'll just uh, press next and install it. And uh, when you're done, you're just gonna open it up. You uh, probably will have a little um, uh, a button that says you need to power it on, and then you'll, it will generate a new IP for your computer. Uh, and then you will just um, press um, the little network symbol, and then you will create a new network. Uh, but before we're going to do that, we're going to write in the server IP, the one is being shown there. Yours will be different from mine, so you don't don't try write mine. Yes, that is the one. You're gonna create a new, new network, and here you can just name it to whatever. You can uh, name it um, after this. This is going to be the server name that your friends are going to connect to, and then just type in a password. This is the part that we're going to use to connect you and your friends. And that is my other server. And just save it. Yeah, and then um, here's the server's program again. Uh, whenever you're going to close it down, uh, press stop in the command line so it will shut down properly. That was just to restart it. And now that you will see that a uh, Starting Minecraft server on, and then a couple numbers. That is the IPs uh, that your friends are going to connect to when they go into Minecraft. I'll just show you how to do it. And the numbers you see there was before when I connected before. So you're just going to copy the numbers you, you can actually you can actually copy them but you're gonna write them write them and um, that is the the IP and then there's the, the port number so just write that, that one in and then when your friends are going to connect they will just have to first uh, join your Hamashi network and then uh, type in this this number which uh, your numbers of course and then press connect when the server is up And uh, now, because I'm recording with my usual program, now it's a bit laggy. And it, it probably will be a bit laggy com depending on your computer. Mine is pretty old, so it's kind of laggy at the moment. If you have a good computer, it won't be any problems. And um, sometimes it's a bug that you can't uh, move objects, then you can just have to opt them, which I forgot now, so I can't move any objects, nor can I do any commands. But you do that in uh, the Minecraft server program, you just type. OP and then the name 
the Minecraft uh, name of the person. And when you have done that, you are an op, an operator in in game as well. So you can just uh, press T and then slash and then type the same commands. Now I'm operator, so now I can type commands and probably just uh, move blocks as well. That was it for me, and uh, until next uh, next time.